What's going on, guys? I wanted to talk about Wukong today. And I'll just go ahead and get it out of the way. I think it's great. I'm enjoying it. Uh, it's definitely not game of the year. I would have to say the 84, I think, is what they gave it. IGN or somebody gave. Uh, that's agreeable. I think that's agreeable. I, I, I'm not going to argue with that. I don't think it's a flop. I think it's going to do great. Um, not game of the year. It's not going to be. It's not revolutionizing in gaming. Uh, the graphics are still pretty good. Um, the gameplay, smooth. I have had hardly any problems. The only thing I don't like is the heavy attack I, I keep having trouble with. I probably haven't learned how to use it properly. I know it sounds stupid. It's a heavy attack. How dumb can you be? But the heavy attack has like a charge. And I am having trouble when to utilize it. Because sometimes when I hit it, it's not like using it. It's like doing this little cinematic. And I say cinematic. It's, it's like spinning his staff around and holding it backwards. And he'll just move around with whatever I'm moving. Instead of just doing the attack. And then out of nowhere, he'll just like do it at random. I think I'm missing uh, something that I don't know what I'm doing wrong. But other than that, everything else, like the uh, the move sets, the abilities, uh, transformations, all that has been really cool so far. Um, it is a faster game. Uh, the bosses are significantly easier than that of what I would call Souls Soulsborne games. Which I have to say, this checks off almost everything in a checklist for a Soulsborne game anyway. Because I've seen, it, there's been a bit of a debate uh, between whether or not they want to count it as one, or if it's not one. And I think it's been a little bit disingenuous to say it's not one at all. Because you got people saying, well, this is significantly easier, it's not a Soulsborne game. But then that's getting people that doesn't, you know, play a whole lot of games that are this tough to jump on the bandwagon. And then they're like, well, no, you you lied to me, this is, this is hard. Yeah, it's going to be harder for casual people that don't play games like this. But it's going to be significantly easier for the people that play games like this. Uh, especially the hardcore ones. The people that do, say, Elden Ring without mimics and without, like, magic and stuff. And they just went straight sword, shield, dodge, reflect, and attack. Those people are going to completely wipe the floor of all the bosses. Easily. They might not even actually be, uh, you know, even get hardly hurt. I doubt they'd even have an issue uh, having a... Uh, a second try. They'll probably do it first try on most of these bosses, if I had to guess. Because I'm not that good. Okay, I'm not. Uh, on every boss, for the most part, so far, I think I've done it in one or two tries. And then right now, I'm stuck on Tony the Tiger. I think I just needed a break because uh, I had been... Uh, uh, I don't know. I, I just didn't get a lot of sleep. And I uh, you know, came over and just tried to stream it and pretty much got my ass whooped. But Tony the Tiger, uh, the reason why I'm losing to him is my own mistakes. Nothing to do with the game. The game's still, you know, doing fine. It's just me. But like I said, I think it's disingenuous to tell people this is not a Soulsborne game or it's not difficult. It is difficult. It's going to be difficult than the average gamer can probably even want to play. Uh, I am a casual gamer. I only do this, uh, I only play games for fun and I only stream them because I have the, you know, available time to just stream a game I'm liking. And that's the thing about it. If you are not used to games like that, you are going to get hurt. You're going to get smacked. You're not going to win. It's going to be difficult. It does not have a settings. It does not have anything. It, just think of it like Jedi Fallen Order, um, where it was Soulsborne, but you could, you know, change the difficulty in that one. You can't do that in this one. That's, that's basically the same principle. Um, and all the abilities, though, later on will make it a lot easier. Now, like I said, I've only done the first two chapters, and right now I'm on the tiger from the trailers that we saw where he was drinking blood out of that uh, pool. He's giving me some difficulty. Um, it's not that he's just stupid hard. I'm just making stupid mistakes, and that's 100% on me. It's got nothing to do with the game. Um, the intro was fantastic. I liked it. I thought it was really cool. He was on, I, I think they call it Nimbus. I assume Nimbus. I'm just going from Dragon Ball Z. But uh, he's on a flying cloud to go fight uh, Celestials. Um, which, I you know, it's just, it's wild that uh, that's the intro. It's just literally like, you're playing as Sun Wukong to go whoop ass. Now, by the way, in the actual game, you're not playing Sun Wukong. You're playing, um, I guess, a reincarnation or something. I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, you're playing as him, so you're nerfed. You are at the bottom of the barrel doing your own journey to the west type uh, story where you're going to go fight and earn ways to become, uh, to basically uh, bring back Sun Wukong. You're supposed to um, bring him back to life. I, I guess he's not technically dead. But yeah, I think the abilities are really cool they, so far. The ones that you can do. Transformations are pretty powerful. You can pretty much take off a fourth, if not a little over a fourth of their health. 
And if you just kind of chip away at them for another 10 minutes and then use the ability a second time, because it doesn't use magic, it, it does, you don't have to use any magic to transform, you'll be able to do a lot more damage. Now, that's what I'm running with is transformations at the moment. I know it's some, and uh, and pausing, uh, freezing them has been pretty useful. Um, I think both of those have been pretty much a good combo. I'm ready for the clone combo where I can just throw my hairs out and make a bunch of clones and just like beat the shit out of people. I've been seeing that on TikTok and I'm really, you know, waiting for that to come out so I can just like absolutely wipe the floor with some bosses. Like I said, the bosses are significantly either easier. So if you're, you know, a veteran Soulsborne player, this game is going to be too easy for you. You are going to talk about how laughably easy it is, even though the game was not made to be a, uh, you know, it's Soulsborne style, but it's not the substance if, uh, if that makes sense. And for the people that are not used to Soulsborne games, and Soulsborne games are like the bane of your existence and you refuse to play them, you might be able to play this one. I don't think it's likely, but you might be able to have fun with it. Uh, as, as far as any of them, this this would be an introduction to how difficult you know Soulsborne games can be. To me, one of the hardest ones, the two hardest ones, was Sekiro and Bloodborne. Bloodborne I didn't like because there was no shield that I could use. It was a gun that's supposed to parry, and I'm terrible at parrying. And Sekiro, same thing. It was a parry problem, and I, I can't do it. I like the game. It's fantastic. It's it's amazing. But it is tough. It is one of the toughest games I've played. I have not even beaten it, not even gotten close. I'm still in the beginning. I'm stuck on a boss. I'm terrible at that game. Uh, it's laughable how bad I am. And I don't think I'll ever be able to pick it back up because I every time I get back to it and try to get the swing of things, the same boss kills me every time. And I know people are going to laugh, but it's the one at the top of a building where uh, he jumps up and you just learn the ability to catch lightning and throw it back at him. Well, first off, I can't even get to that stage. The second stage is hard for me to get to. And when I do get to it, I'm terrible at timing. So catching the lightning, I look like an idiot. Um, I know that's probably, from what I've been told, the easiest fight in the game. Yeah, well, it's not to me. So I guess I just don't need to play the game if that's the easiest one. Mild spoilers. Um, I'm not going to say exactly what's going on, but I will say the ending of... Uh, of uh, Wukong is supposed to be a really hard boss. Like, I've been seeing a lot of people saying, oh, if you play Dark Souls, yeah, no, this this boss is the hardest boss in all of them. I don't know if he's, like, nerfing himself and not using abilities or something, but it. I will say, from what I've seen, yeah, it looks like it's going to be difficult because there's a lot of parrying that he can do. But uh, I don't know if anything is to go by by all the bosses I've played up to this point. The game's not that difficult. Um, there's probably going to be difficulty spikes that have, I've ran into, like right now. I've ran into one just playing uh, against the guy I'm calling Tony the Tiger, the blood-drinking uh, jackass. But that guy, uh, it's been a spike. I'll probably power level a little bit here in a minute when I uh, fire up my stream. And I'll probably beat him one shot. I don't know. Like, or not one shot, one try uh, the next fight just because that's just how it goes sometimes. When I stop a stream and I'm frustrated... The next time I fire it up and I go fight that same boss, I usually beat him after about 20 minutes. And I remember playing Elden Ring DLC, and it took me six hours uh, of nonstop getting my ass whooped by the uh, Scarlet Rot, not not Melania, the DLC one uh, with the uh, Scorpion Tail and all that. It took me hours to just keep getting my ass whooped. Fired up the stream the next day and beat her in like 20 minutes. It wasn't a big deal. It took me like two or three tries, and I actually beat her. So I assume that's probably going to be the same thing with this game. I might get frustrated and get stuck and uh, get super careless and just not care. And then probably by the end of it, I'll end up just winning in like just a few tries. A lot more calm or a lot more patient. But that's going to be the biggest thing about this game is a game of patience uh, anyway. It's just not as hard because like the health is uh, a lot, you know, like their I guess their defense, not their health. You can see it just whittle away and then you'll go through a few like basic strong attacks they're not as cool and as intricate as say the dark souls games but when they do them oh no, they can they can knock the shit out of you but the thing about dark souls if they hit you with their like big super attack it'll kill you but in this one even without the buffs like i don't even have i took all my uh spark points off of hell i don't even have them there anymore because it did not it gives you a sliver with all of them which I thought was stupid. If you if that's an ability piece, like uh, you know, you're taking away from abilities or buffs and stuff, you, it should give it a lot more health. But it didn't. So I just took them off because it didn't really help me in the long run. And that being said, it just seemed easier to have like crit chance because you got to look in the words really hard. 
you'll see like slightly moderate high um drastic you know that means how you know much it's going to give you um they were i think the smallest bit they could give you like i said it was just a sliver for five slots so i just didn't see the point in using my sparks on that and even then with enough health you just don't die anyway so i can survive a big hit make a mistake and then use the uh missed jump like a little dodge whatever use that they'll aim at that sometimes that doesn't even work but when i dodge out of the way i can go heal up without being attacked and then i get a crit chance on him the problem i have like i'll say with that it's supposed to leave a clone and that clone basically sits still and takes the damage you can run around invisible and get a crit attack. Well, sometimes, depending on how you do it, it doesn't work. Now, I'm probably using it at the wrong time, so his lock-on, because, like, their lock-on's hard. So, like, it locks on to you, and when you go use the misstep, and he'll even say, oh, where'd you go? Stop using your magic. Stop being, you know, a punk. And, boom, he can't see you, but he's attacking you. Like, I, I think that's kind of stupid, but that's, like, okay, so there's two things I've had an issue with, and I'm pretty sure... One of them I know is my fault. I'm not using the heavy attacks right, but this one seems like it's just a little bit of a tweak in mechanics it needs. Uh, that, so it worked, but then again, I think they would have to change all the animations throughout the entire game just for one little uh, window to work that I've been making mistakes on. So I'll also take fault in that. That might be me misusing the ability. I mean, it does work after the end. Like, say he's doing a combo and I use the misstep, it will try to attack me, and then the next set of attacks will kind of go towards my clone which gave me time to heal and then hit him. Like I said, a lot of the mistakes is on me, but that's just the first two chapters. There's still plenty to go. So far, I've liked the bosses. I've liked the designs. Um, they're super cool. And then there's a like a bestiary, which is all looks like the hand-drawn or hand-painted uh, from way back in the day that they get a lot of their myth from. It looks like those hand paintings, which look really cool. I really like that. That's a good uh, little attention to detail to me because they recreated them and everything looks amazing but i think i've rambled on long enough so yeah that's about all i got to say y'all have a good one